we are glad that we have been afforded the opportunity to rejoice in it. We are prepared now to begin our worship experience. Uh, let me hasten to say that uh, on the direction of my story for example, my church secretary, Sister of the Cavalry, we're going to continue with this order of service that you guys have been doing just until the first Sunday. Sunday we're going to have worship bulletins and then we'll be able to do things traditionally like I know how to do it. Amen? And we'll, and we'll just bear with me one more Sunday. And so uh, we're going to go ahead now and do what we have been doing according to the order of worship here. We're going to open uh, with our praise and worship two songs, it says. And then I will open with a greeting. Then the opening song in that order. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise for the male choir.
we all going to lay down our life for the Lord in the expectation of a new life. Somebody say this called the eternal life.
bowed and hearts praying. Eternal God of our Father, you are the one to whom all blessings flow. To bow our heads as I would in humble adoration. To bow our heads in submission. Yes. Lord, we bow our heads in deep humility. Yes. First, just to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for this name that you have made. Thank you for allowing us to live, move, and to have our being in it. Yes. Oh God, we thank you this morning for a measure of help and strength. We thank you, oh God, for peace, joy, and a mind that still stays on you. Yes. Father God, we thank you this morning for the continuation of your grace, your mercy, your favor. Oh God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit yes. that dwells in us and yes. keeps us, yes. protects us and directs us. Yes. But above all, we thank you the more thank you. for the greatest gift ever given unto us yes. by way of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ. The one of whom you allow to be a sacrificial lamb yes, yes. for the sins of the whole world of those who believe. So Father, wash us now, cleanse us of all our sins and iniquity. O oh God, then create in us a clean heart yes. and renew a right spirit and us that we might always serve you in spirit and in truth. For Lord, to live is to serve you. So Father God, look upon the Mount Zion AME Church family this family this morning. Father God, look at them individually as well as collectively. Lord, remember those who are in the hospital. Remember Sister Cassandra Reed. Oh Lord, Remember Brother Clyde Bland. Lord, there are many others that I or we may not know of. Yes. But Lord, you know because you made them all. Yes. Yes. And they all belong to you. So by your spirit, by your might, yes. touch the whole time. You're healing yes. Then Lord, remember Brother Summers. Lord, you've always been by his side. Speak to the core of his heart. Speak to him in his mind that he will always know that you're always right there. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come this day as we embracing the Thanksgiving holiday. We come with full knowledge and recognize the Lord that every day is a day of Thanksgiving in you. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for all that you're going to do. And most particularly, we thank you for what you're doing right now. You know, God, as we look around in the congregation, we see our young people. Lord, we thank you for they find their place in the house of the Lord. Oh, Lord, we hear all the things in the street around us, but Lord, we know that you remind us that we have the power to change things by praying to you. You are the change, jerk, yes. but we are the change agents. So speak to us, Lord. Give us a seal and a design yes. to look out over into the yonder of these world yes. and see those things that we know you need to change. So by your power, by your might, oh Lord, bless, bless our seniors, bless them, oh God, as they continue to work their way, take the time to come out to worship you, and even those who could not come out, oh Lord, strengthen them where they're weak, and build them up where they're told down, that they might continue to live to give your name, the praise, the honor, and the glory. For Lord, we realize that this earth is not our home. But 
we are but pilgrim passing through a barren land. So Father, be with us, guide us, and keep us. Help us to live, to give you glory. It is in Jesus' name that we pray for thanksgiving always.
So we come this morning on this great day. It's great because it's the Lord's day. This is another blessed day that He has made. So we come uh, preparation and collard greens about to be washed and pitted. <laughs> Y'all know what. <laughs> Yeah. Stay away from all that hat talking. Big tail. I just about stopped buying big tail. You know, when I was a boy and mama gets a big tail, you would actually see the tail. These days, when you go in the store, you see that fat little short tail. I said, now, I know that pig had no tail than that. They could have to get the tail for themselves. It was the fact that we ain't got no sense for that fat in So stick with the turkey. Turkey's always in the way. But it's a good thing to celebrate Thanksgiving and to remember it's an opportunity for us to come together as family and simply to love on one another. Amen. Give God thanks that even whatever the state is, God is still in the midst. Yeah. And giving yeah. us a yeah. chance. Yeah. And so we want to preach to you for a little while this morning about one another and how it is that God uses us to take care of one another yeah. and to help one another. I want you to look with me in the Old Testament. Exodus. I, I, I always uh, refer to the book of Exodus as the African American book of Genesis. And, and, and the reason why I make that reference is, is because Exodus it speaks a whole lot about God bringing his people out. Yeah. I said, it speaks about God bringing his people out. Is there anybody in here ever got brought out of something? <laughs> you remember slavery? Oh, I don't know. It's been a long time for the young people that don't think it's this day they get up. And then they got this thing now talking about this kind of teaching that they don't want nobody teaching. You know, somebody better tell you that, Greg. It all started back in the cotton field. Go ahead. Or the bean field. It started way back on the tobacco field. But God has always been bringing us out. Yeah. That's what Exodus means, to bring out, to exit, to come out. In the book of Exodus, in chapter 17, there's a passage in there, I believe it's from 8 to 15, but I have expected one verse of scripture to preach this sermon to you this morning that will cause us to even the more so connect to one another on this gracious opportunity of Thanksgiving. Yeah, in Exodus 17 and 12, we find these words recorded. But Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon. And Aaron and her stayed up his hand. The one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. <laughs> Want to leave with you a train of thought this morning from the subject. Help them to keep it up. Help them to keep it up. Church, the Christian journey of this life is one that we simply cannot make all by ourselves. Everybody needs somebody. Amen. I know you might live alone and I know you might work for all your money by yourself and you got all this stuff going on by yourself but I stop by the table that you can't make this journey by yourself. Psalm right in the second verse said, I need some help. 
can do it by myself. Yeah. I think it was Bill Withers or something that song says, Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. He said, You know what? For it won't be long that I'm going to need somebody.
You need me. Yes, we do. I believe that that's the reason why Jesus sent his disciple out by two. He didn't send them out by one, he sent them out two by two. Did he not? He sent out his disciple by two. Furthermore, I also believe that that is why God called us to be a part of a community of believers. I don't care where you sit on the choir. I don't care where you sit in the church. I've been in some church, some places you can't sit in certain seats. Now I know somebody tell her I sit in my own We sit in my seat. What you want to do with the end of the time? I have the Mount Zion where I come from. We have a 25 members. My daddy was one of them too. Now y'all know clients sit on that second row. The, the missionary said, the, the missionary and the students said, but, but Brother Frazier, uh, we need to sit up here now, especially on the first Sunday. But I don't talk to them, sit somewhere up, because I always sit right there. <laughs> no, no, it don't matter where you sit, just sit down, daddy, sit down. Get a word from the Lord, that's all we're here for. So, 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 we have to understand that we are live in a community of believers. And that is to say that when Something go wrong in my neighbor house, and I know about it, something going to be wrong with me. Yeah. But if I hadn't went on there and tried to do something about it, I ain't a good neighbor. Yes, and I'm not just talking about the neighbor that lives next door. I'm talking about us who live in this Christian community. Yeah. With all this technology and all these things we have access to, we should still care about one another. Yes, gave us his best as an example of what we should do with one another. Amen. Nor are we meant to stand alone against the enemy we will encounter along the way. If you see somebody in trouble and you can help, help them out. Help them out. Sometimes we get so sedated, we, we see the wino on the street and, 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 and the drug addict Bible speaks about that. Y'all do know about the Samaritan. Samaritan was considered to be a half breed in some people's eyes and they were. But I tell you what, it was that Samaritan. The text said that the man had been beaten and robbed and lying in the street. So a bishop came by. They say priest, but a bishop came by and saw the man lying the other way. And a preacher came by and he saw the man lying on the street and the preacher went the other way. But the good Samaritan, that one they call half of this and half of that, no matter what half he had, he had a God heart. Because the text said he stopped down. He stopped and knelt down and he helped that man. Cleaned him up. Put him on his horse and took him to the end. And totally let keep us out. Gotta go, but you take care of it. Yes. And whatever you do for him, when I get back, I'll pay you. Yes. And, 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 and that's what the Lord says to us. Yes. Do something for one another. Because pain is coming. Yeah. Ah, you know pain I'm be the day.
he asked for aid on behalf of the community because he realized the detrimental influence of what a few people could do. Yeah. You yeah. could get a few people in this church and start talking about the church and about the past and tear up the whole church. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's who you decide to listen to. Our ultimate allegiance in the church or in our home, our allegiance belongs to God. And our ultimate connection with each other is through God. God says you got to love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's the second commandment. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Why? Because the first one said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. With all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. This is the first and great commandment. So the second is one, two, three, and seven. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The spirit of the family and the community, my brother and sister, is present in people, places, the proper emphasis, and the love of these bonds that we ought to have with one another. There ought not be anybody in the church. Just like anybody. Building families and community may require us to sacrifice self, ambition, popularity, and position. We should not grumble, but rather seek a positive attitude for helping others with their problems. In the text this morning, in my conclusion, Moses was called by God to go into battle. You see, I don't care what you think about your pastor. You ought to understand that that pastor was called into battle right. to represent you. Right. And, 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 and he or she cannot help you all by you or herself. That's right. They need some help. Yeah. Moses was told to go to battle for yeah. the Alabama. God says, they want to fight my people, I'll show them who they're up against. He said, to Moses, you go up on top of the mountain. Yes, Send Joshua yes. to collect some soldiers. Not a whole lot. Just take some and go to war against yes. the Amalek. And Joshua did as Moses said. And Moses went on top of the mountain. Yeah. The Lord said, take your rod with you. Take it up there with you. And every time you raise that rod, my people will be victorious. The text says Moses went on up there, raised the rod, and every time he raised the rod, the rod, the Israelite was victorious. But his hands got tired. Preacher get tired sometimes. The right. human didn't like you. Right. We got children with problems. You got children with problems. You know, we got house problems. We got family problems. We all got the same thing. The text says, Moses raised the rod, but his hand got tired. The text says, they knew that the Lord was in it. Because all he had to do to be victorious was raise the rod. So the text says, Says he sat down, he kept on raising, but his hand got tired. Aaron said, We can fix this. Hurry, you sit on the right side, and I sit on the left. You hold up the right side, and I hold up the left side. And as long as they held their hands up and held both of them in hand up, the victory will always win. Right and try to do the right thing, pray 
accepted. Having doubts about trusting God. If you're here today, I want you to come up here and stand in front of the pastor. I want you to keep your eyes to the hills. Someone come and get help. I want you to keep on praying. I want to help you to keep it up. We all need help. We all need courage. We all need somebody to tell somebody it's going to be all right.
So make sure you support your lay society, okay? Amen. Make sure you support the lay. But the lay is the back muscle of the church. That's right. Amen. If it had not been for the lay, we would have no church, amen? Amen. I know I used to be a lay president myself. So I want to thank you all for those, um, allowing me to give you those announcements. I'm sure that the other thing occurred. I'm going to meet with the trustees soon, not just for the park, but I'm going to meet with them as soon as I can, so we can bring you up to speed. But tomorrow, we'll be the stewards, and then the next time, and then we'll be the trustees, and the next time, we're going to have the official board. So I can get to know everybody on the board. Amen. I am just elated and happy to see so many young people in this church. It's what I always want to do. Six years at Jehovah, and I had a lot of children year by year. Everybody graduated. I look around, I ain't even two or three. Well, guess what? I, before I left, I baptized about six babies. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. It all came out the same house. Like the young people were beautiful, beautiful babies. So that means there's a new crop. I left there, but I got a new Tweets. They all graduated. Praise God for that. Amen. Tell me that cross eyed football team is doing miraculous things too. So Amen. thank God for that. Praise the Lord. All right, so we are uh, going to allow these, these services to come to a conclusion. But well, we thank God for your presence today. Keep on coming. Tell somebody that we're going to have a church. We're going to have church every Sunday. Not that you haven't had it, but I believe we're going to take it to another level. Amen. Amen. Let us stand to our feet. We hope to sing our box out as we prepare to leave this place, but never his presence. Praise God. Thanksgiving.